Well, Aloha Church family. It's May 6th and National Nurses Day. I want to give a big shout out to all our healthcare workers. There are everyday heroes, not just during this coronavirus pandemic, but all the time. And I also want to give a shout out to our oldest daughter, who's a nurse at Tripler Army Medical Center. And uh, she loves working with the military families. And so pray blessing and protection upon everybody there at Tripler and all hospitals and medical facilities here in Hawaii. God bless you. Well, hey friends, how are you doing today? It's Stay at Home Wednesday, and hopefully we're getting closer to the end of this coronavirus quarantine, all the social distancing. It was good news to hear from the governor's office that retailers might be open, uh, be able to open as soon as uh, May 15th, so that's not very long from now, so that would be very good news. Well, I have a question for you. In the midst of all this chaos and and craziness, how are you feeling? Are you feeling stressed or are you at peace? When you think about the future, the uh, uncertainty about income and, and all what might happen or not happen in the future, does that cause your worry level to rise or are you at peace and you're feeling good about that? See, that's a good indicator of where we are. You know, is our life filled with stress and worry, or are we living in peace? Well, welcome to today's Bible study, and I'm, I'm excited about some powerful scripture passages that we're gonna be looking here each Wednesday in the, in the month of May, and they have the potential to be life-changing. And today's passage is found in Philippians 4, 6, and 7. And so let's take a look at that and let's unpack it together. Philippians chapter 4 Paul is writing and we're going to take it just a, a portion of a passage uh, uh, one after another it begins with do not be anxious about anything in other words be anxious for nothing Paul is very emphatic about it. as Christians we don't need to live in worry we don't need to live in stress we don't need to live in anxiety we don't need to be anxious we don't need to be fearful instead he says he continues verse 6 but in everything by prayer and petition present your request to God see God doesn't want you to carry your problems I brought along a backpack here that that represents problems and you know I can carry that or I can give it to God well the truth is I can't carry my problems because they're too heavy for me and so I need to give it to the Lord because he's the one that can carry my problems and, and your problems. Now, I skipped two words there in that passage, and they're very important words. And those two words are with thanksgiving. They're simple words, but very powerful. They have the potential to be a game changer. When you present your request with thanksgiving, friends, that changes everything. See, what's the difference? Instead of presenting your prayer requests, your needs with desperation, instead of doing with worry, instead of living in fear, it, you instead, friends, you are offering your prayer requests to the Lord with confidence, with faith, with thanksgiving. You're thanking the Lord for his compassion. You're thanking him for his loving kindness. You're thanking him for his grace and mercy and it's a declaration of faith friends you're thanking the lord in advance for what he is about to do you're thanking the lord in advance for what he is about to do and what is the end result of that friends paul's very emphatic peace verse 7 and the peace of god which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. Wow, what a difference. See, you can live in worry, you can live in fear or stress or anxiety, or you can live in peace, but you can't do both. Did you hear? You can't do both. I've heard Christians say, you know, I prayed about this need, I prayed about this problem, and I'm still worried about it. Well, wait a minute, that, that doesn't work out. That that's, doesn't fit with what we just read. See, a leading indicator for us is what, what is 
what level is high for us. See, if the worry is high in our life, then that means that our peace level is low. If our anxiety is up there, that means our trust level is low. See, they're, they're not going to be at the same place. But the opposite is also true, friends. See, if my peace begins to rise, that means the worry is going away. If my trust and my faith are growing, that means that anxiety, that stress is moving away. So when my worry and my fear and my stress and my anxiety level rises, what does that mean? That means that I need to once again give my problem, my need back to the Lord. It means that I've taken it back from him. It means that I said, Lord, I give this problem to you. I give this need to you. But then I took it back. I put it back on my shoulders again. See, and I'm not strong enough to carry the problem. You're not strong enough to carry your need. We're, we're, not, we're just not strong enough. Only God has the strength for it. He has the power and the ability to take care of our need, friend. So we need to give it to him and leave it with him. So let's put all those together. Read the entire passage. Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Do not be anxious about anything. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which passes, transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Isn't that beautiful? Now there's a, another ingredient to add. And that's praise and worship. And we're going to talk more about that in a coming Wednesday. But when you enter into praise and worship, friends, when you declare the Lord's greatness and his majesty and his power and his authority, then you're getting a bigger glimpse of who he is. And faith is building in your heart. You're saying, God, you're bigger. Jesus, you're greater than any, any, any problem, than all of my need. You're bigger than that. And so, friends, I don't want you to live in worry. I don't want you to live in stress. I don't want you to live in fear. More importantly, Jesus wants you to live in peace and faith and confidence and trust. And you can live in spiritual rest instead of worrying and anxiety. Friends, please let me know how you're doing. Wherever you are, please leave a comment there, whether you're at our website, honoluluag.org, or our Facebook page, Honolulu AG, search for that, or our YouTube channel, search for Honolulu Assembly of God. And would you bookmark those sites, please, so you can get back to it quickly? And join our Facebook group. That's known as the Prayer and Praise Wall, and you can post your prayer requests there and praise reports. And would you do me a favor? Would you please share our website and Facebook and YouTube resources with others you know, friends and family and other acquaintances, so that they can be blessed and encouraged too. Well, let's, let's pray together. Would you join me? Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your faithful provision, Lord, that you take care of us and you give us the opportunity to present our needs and requests to you. You invite us to do that, Lord. You're a wonderful, loving, heavenly Father. And you don't want us to live in fear and worry. Lord, you want us to live in peace and rest. And Lord, so we pray that each one of us, Lord, we would present a request to you with thanksgiving. And Lord, that we would surrender those needs and those problems and those, uh, those worries and fears. We'd give them to you. And Lord, we would leave them with you and not try to take them back. Lord, giving our faith and our thanks to you that you have everything under control. We thank you for that, Lord. In the name of Jesus, pray that you intervene for each person lord every man woman young person boy or girl bless them lord may they live in confidence and faith and trust in you and i pray in jesus name amen friends god bless you god loves you we love you aloha and aloha keakua god loves you god is love bye-bye